It's not just business, it's personal. This is the Fox Business Network. Here again are Liz Clayman and David Asman. Never mind. We're trying some new things no, no, here. No, no, so no. Patience, patience. <laughs> well, the markets are moving lower after the Fed kind of busted the balloon party. Yeah, I mean, we were up and then suddenly we're down. So much for Intel earnings, but there's still money you can make for your portfolio. So, but where do you put it? Joining us now with their picks, Oliver Porsche. He is executive vice president at Gary Goldberg Financial Services. And Yudi Chang, he is president and chief trader at Ace Investment Strategist. Good to see you both. Oliver, I want to go right to your stocks because we have the CEO of Yum Brands coming up in the 4 o'clock hour here on Fox. And Yum Brands is one of your picks. Why? Well, we, we love the growth story there. They are one of the companies that we look for thematically who really understand how to grow their business internationally. When we look at the world today, we think the U.S. is going to grow pretty slowly coming out of this recession. We see a, a square root shaped uh, recovery in ways. We think Europe is in, in quite a bit second. of trouble. Square root Square shape. root. So we recovery. went down uh -huh. and then a little flat. bit back and, and then pretty little flat little for the flat next line. two couple of years. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Europe is in a whole lot of trouble. We don't see a whole lot of growth opportunity there. But Asia, Latin America, the rest of the world, there's some tremendous growth opportunities. And young brands have done a phenomenal job at growing. Um, I was on a conference call yesterday after uh, they, they released earnings. And, you know, again, ninth year in a row, double-digit earnings, some 12, 13 percent earnings growth, revenue growth, sales growth, opening new stores. Everything is working in, in, in their favor in terms of management. And on top of it, given the low uh, inflation expectations, we think that margins can improve above and beyond what consensus is. Because when you're in food industry, commodities, you know, grains, big part of your cost structure. Uh, you, D. Chang, you look at sectors, and you're, you're not going for the food at the moment, but you are looking at things like options on major indices. Uh, tell me what, what really drives that, because there's been enough volatility that, yes, we've had six up days, but, boy, you can't really tell if you go back a couple of weeks, one day up triple digits, one day down. Yeah, Liz, you're absolutely right. If you look at it, it's kind of interesting. You know, while I might agree with Oliver saying that, well, certain stock might move up during certain time. But if you look at it, market is really under tremendous uncertainties right now, right? So if you look at the market where it is right now, even on an intermediate term basis, it's exactly where it was back in November of last year. Or if you want to take it back longer term, the market is exactly where it was back in 1998. So we really hadn't gone anywhere on the overall basis volatility. So basically one of our strategy is actually maybe while picking individual sectors and stocks at the same time as a diversification, we're actually bracketing the market by selling both calls and put options on the market indices itself. All right. Well, Oliver, one thing that has moved is policy, public policy, particularly with regard to the, the medical health bill that we just passed. Now things may change, it may even get reversed, but in the meantime, certain pharmaceutical companies are feeling kind of comfortable with the way things are, and Teva is sort of the premier of those. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we, we think uh, health care reform, regardless of our personal opinion on it, are probably going to ben benefit discount pharmacies and generic drug manufacturers. Teva Pharmaceuticals out of Israel is a, uh, the leader in that space and continues to grow. And, you know, I don't know if you have a chart up or, or have we seen do what indeed, the... We do indeed right now. But if you look at it, they it's continue... counter market right now. Yeah, it's counter market, not just today or, or, dis, you know, or, or going up over the last six months or, or six years, but more importantly, they continue to grow their business in the right way and they continue to improve sales, margins, top line revenue as well as bottom line revenue. And that's really what we look for because that's what's going to give us the long term price appreciation. Beauty medical equipment. Tell us about that. That's your health care play. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at it, uh, I'm getting a little bit old. I'm one of the baby boomers. So as I get old, I need somebody to help me with my eyesight, with my hair, with my everything, with Your my knees. high blood pressure. <laughs> Thus, some type of uh, uh, health called equipment makers, I think regardless of the uncertainties around health care, you know, medical equipment makers maybe, some kind of medical procedures companies, these type of companies, I think going forward, looking at the, this generation getting old, is going to be needed. Thus, we'll have a good future. Yudi Chang, Oliver Porsche, gentlemen, great to see you both. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. It's your mistake.